Okay, everybody. So, um, first, thank you for joining us. We're going to get our... Looks like we're successfully connected to YouTube chat as well. Okay, this Heard is good. This, this is good. Things are going well. Can we nice. keep it going? Good job, everybody. You can hear us. Good. Give us a gunboat emoji if you can hear us. <laughs> oh, you're on my cord. Just a bit. No problem. We got an overlay. We did it. Oh, boy. We oh boy. did it, boys and girls. Oh. Okay. So. I don't even know how to do this. I haven't done this all we weekend. We don't even know. We don't uh, what, what is you streaming? You haven't done it on the stream all weekend. All weekend. All right. So. Well, this is the one to do it for. Here we go. Ahem. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. My name is Dio Morales, host of the Gold Squadron podcast, and today I am joined by William Hegwood. The Stressra. The Stressra, yes. So uh, I'd like you. I like to welcome you to our final. Thank you for all of your patience. Thank you to the store owner for being patient with us and helping us get uh, everything sorted away. We literally had to try four different internet connections. We are down to a mobile hotspot. Thanks. We we're good to go. Yep. We're gonna get the um, we're gonna get the timer going here. And uh, we will have uh, we'll, we'll get our match here. Um, let's break down some lists here, um, William. So we have Francois Moray, Gold Squadron, whoop whoop, whoop, whoop. right? Th flying uh, a Nim Miranda variant. This was really popular in early uh, earlier in the regional season when the trajectory simulator um, ner nerf was not on, but Francois has been able to fly it successfully. Yep, very popular right after Wave Thirteen. Uh, dropped and gave us uh the card everybody asked for trajectory simulator <laughs> awesome so and then uh andrew goldbach this actually was the gentleman i lost to in the top eight round um flying a nim spe crimson specialist and rebel operative um very very sneaky good list um it was uh i was heartbroken when i lost but it's okay. It happens. <laughs> well, it turns out Kylo's weak to bombs. Yeah, Kylo. Kylo doesn't like bombs. But uh, I could have. Uh, I could have. I, I could have. Uh, never mind. We're not talking about my game. <laughs> 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 no, we're moving on. The um, we're moving we're, we're on. Moving on. Uh, one issue in the um, in the overlay you will see it says adaptability adaptability minus one. There's nothing we can do about that. That has to specifically do with the what's called the XWS format. Um, but it uh, looks like we're we're getting ready to go here. The two yep. the hawk clears the two hard. We're probably gonna see a little uh, bump action, I would guess. Andrew's Andrew seems to have a different deployment for every, every single match. game. <laughs> I don't sure if he's making it up on the fly or if he's just got a whole playbook of them. Yep, he might. We're gonna go ahead and fix the timer. We should be about one. What would we be at? Like one nineteen? One one. Uh, yeah. Two hour long. If it goes to two hours, I'll be. I'll be very surprised. I will not be here in two hours. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like we might get an honorable joust. So. Yeah, it looks like Nim's gonna take that, or uh, Andrew's Nim is gonna try to take the inside of there, um, and leverage the trajectories going that way. I believe we could barely see in the bottom left hand corner there, Francois Nim. Nim is hiding, hiding in the text. Have you talked to Francois about who painted the ships? Um, I have not. He he's just a big fan of like buying painted ships. Oh, I, okay. I'm not, I don't want to give cred to the wrong people, sure, so I have sure. a feeling who who they might be. But uh, we're he did, he like he just really likes painted ships. Yeah, I heard uh, Andrew painted his own ships for this. Yep. Um, but so the original paint scheme he was saying was not what he intended. Like this is not what he intended. He what did he intend? He intended it to be like, uh, like an ocean coral, was was the um, that like coral esque color, that pinky color there, and it didn't come out exactly how he wanted. He's like, well, we'll just go like Tron-y. you know. Oh wait, Tron for the the blue or for the orange? For the for the orange, it just didn't, didn't it didn't for whatever reason didn't look like what he thought it was going to. So he I just mean, it, it pops, but it it's, does. It's it looks not, great. It, it doesn't look like. The, the fancy wash they see in mm -hmm. um, the original paint jobs of ships. 
Okay, I see what he did here. He's not taking the middle. He just he just launched that bomb right in a good spot. What I assume is Miranda's exit lane. Yep. I so sure not did. a bad strategy. I like it. Nim going slow. Barrel. Okay. Send up a send up a trajectory lane of his own. Yep. And avoiding avoiding getting trajectory, right? I guess. Because right now Nim does have. <laughs> I'm probably honestly going to see. see uh, my guess would be Nim is going to be hard toing to the left, and so is uh, Miranda. Probably does something like two bank, two bank, just to start. Uh, yeah, I don't know if start Miranda trail. risks the harpoons right now. It would be nice to get on that damage race early, but. Right, so I think in, th in in Andrew's list, the target priority you got to kill Nim, right? Like that's. I'm sorry, that in Andrew's. In, 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 in Francois wants to kill Andrew's Nim, like that's the priority. Would you I say? I think that because Andrew only has two harpoons, and uh, I guess he's got a bomb left, so he's got unlimited bombs. But <laughs> unlimited but, uh, bombs. Uh, but it, because oh, it was, sorry. What I was gonna say was uh, auto blaster. Because mm -hmm. his Nim only has auto blaster and harpoons, Miranda's gonna have a much e much easier time just TLT regen. Yeah. Uh, one on one against Nim. So and I think Francois needs to protect his Miranda. If his Miranda goes down early, there's no win condition for him, in mm -hmm. my opinion. Not a good one, anyways. Right. Will be interesting here. They are doing a. They apparently. They're thinking hard. No, I was gonna say like. They're not going to two hours. No, I don't think so. They're. They just played. This is game five, four, four, four for them. This is the fourth one of the night. Um, but the tenth game of the tournament. Mm-hmm. So. Not that. They're ready to be done, but. I don't really wanna take too long with this one and uh as we do wait here uh one thing i like to do for all matches is go ahead and in the chat give me a one if you think francois is going to take it give me a two if you think andrew will oh we're way too loud okay okay well oh because right. it's not very loud anymore because the store is clearing out um okay we'll cool. quiet we'll it, okay we're going we'll to quiet down and do me a favor there is a range ruler sitting on the on the uh, the dice box mat. You see that there? If you could just right here, it's in that corner. It's moving around. If you could have Andrew just scooch it over. All right. Well, you know what we'll do? We're gonna talk quieter. Gonna we're gonna we're gonna turn it up a little bit. Okay. Okay. We're gonna get a little bit more background static. Sorry, guys. We're gonna turn it turn it down. Keep and our keep our excitement to a minimal. Yeah. What is that? Oh, his two has uh his markers. Yeah, those wow. are those are awesome. Nice. Curled That's the first I've seen of that. Curled Paul Creator says that. So what did uh what did we end up here on our votes? Let's see. A lot of twos here. A lot of there's a lot of twos. Um, <laughs> I like I like uh you look their comment here it says Hawk OP please nerf. Yeah, you know those ever operatives pretty good. It's it's a super cheap TLT oh, and look at that. carrier. Did you see that? Did you see that? He's <laughs> checking for the range. No, he's taking target look. <laughs> but he's just, you know, yeah. just, you know, checking for everybody here. That's right. Get so that little bit of extra throwing information. Throwing the thermal. Because one thing you do, all right, that's, so that's one out of four, right? Mm-hmm. Which is a little. I would have. I would have expected him to do it a little bit more inside the board. I mean, that bomb is blowing up outside of the board. You know what I mean? Not like right mm -hmm. now. But right. Well, hmm. maybe he's just trying to prevent. I mean, if Nim came in fast, I don't. I doubt it. That that's not really Francois' play style. That's a threat. Yep. It's more of a threat than anything. I mean, he doesn't have to blow it up, but. Yep. TikTok one shot. Are you perhaps someone I know? I don't know if I want to say your name on the oh, stream, right. but are you perhaps someone I know? But because you don't know me very well, because that's not how my name's spelled. Oh, got him. 
Hey, Ooh, you. gotcha. Hey, Woods. Hey, maybe when you know, oh. learn my name, I'll sign up for CAC. <laughs> no, it's honestly, I don't have funds. Like, I'm spending, like, my life. Yeah. I, did, I did sell my regional templates for gas money at home this weekend, so. Yeah. Uh, it's not, uh, it's not that. I'm going to, I'm going to CAC. It's going to happen. I just don't have the money to sign, to right pre-register. You can't, can't do it, like, right now. It'll get done. Yeah, jeez. That's in April. Come on. Yeah. We I have to go to Adepticon first. Well, let me do that. One thing at a time. Ooh, did he get it? He got the target lock. Ooh. I'm really surprised that he didn't slam. I'm, like, super surprised. All right, well, we'll see what Nim does. Uh, I mean, <laughs> do you go Nim on three? What if he yeah. slams his Miranda out this well, early? That's true. That's true. That's true. I guess if you draw some fire and regen it later, right? Uh, yeah, obviously. Um, so, so let's see. So I assume that Andrew has initiative. And we are in the final. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Here's Proton Bomb like coming in. Looks like Neo Saturn is getting some lag in there. Uh, let us know if... Uh, how the frame rate is on your end? Yeah, I mean, there's. N I can't really. Um, I can't turn it up too much. Big thank you to Ter Horan for becoming a Twitch Prime subscriber. You're I awesome. I believe we had two in the last game sign up. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, it's a really easy way to support the stream. I know that this weekend's been a little bit rough because you know the people have been playing and stuff like that. But uh, you know, for the, all the premier events that we do do, which will be, um, I will be in. What's the next one? The next system open, I'll be there. No, you uh, I, you had posted uh, Michigan. Oh, right. yeah, Michigan Regional. That's next weekend. So we'll, yeah, we'll be there. Yeah, next weekend. And then you get, you get a week off before Adepticon. Crazy. Yeah, and then we're streaming Adepticon. Oh, is Francois busting out the Gold Squadron yeah. tokens? Yeah, Gold Squad. So Proton looks like it hits. Yep, Nim just did the one forward, so it won't hit him. And Thrust Control Fire. Ooh, no stop on that. VCS. B, what are they? BSF. 17s. Mm -hmm. hmm. And uh, plus Sabine, so that'll be a shield. Okay. We got some hauntingly. <laughs> that was a Sabine uh, action figure there for. Uh, oh, okay. For the Sabine. Uh, I liked his little action figure. Somebody else had a bunch of. Was it Brandon who had a bunch of little dudes yeah. for shields or something like that? Here comes harpoon missile. Oh, they don't know that that obstructs the. All right, thank you. All right. That's three hits and a crit. So wait, why is Francois shooting first if he moved last? He's a 10. Oh, adaptability versus VI. That makes a lot of sense. Blanks out, loses and this both shields. Oh, my God, look at those three crits. Let's see what they are. All right. Shield, shield. And blinded. Blinded, blinded pilot. That could help. And direct, direct hit. Okay, so... That's he's sitting, good. he lost th three total hole there, right? No, he's He's at four, five, right? The direct hit. No, he's got, that's that's four damage worth of cards sitting out right there. Right, right. Okay, and here's here's a harpoon going into Miranda. They're trading some harpoons. No, you put it, no, no, he, he has four damage on him. So he's sitting at five? Uh, what's, I thought they what's were. The, what's the base, nine. what's the base health? Nine. Nine. So he said nine six. and three. He said six, right? Oh, that, did you see that target lock? Target lock into three blanks from Ooh. Andrew. Miranda takes two shields plus harpooned, and Francois is okay with that. Oh, that could be so much worse. Yeah. Yeah, Andrew target locked three into three blanks. Yeah. So, all right. Well, that is with, I mean, the, the BSF goes down. What, what it, what it takes away from Andrew's list is the blocking potential. That's that's the BSF job. It's just a soak damage and give blocking potential. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's a great opening for Francois. Mm -hmm. Taking very little in return there. The blind had helped a lot. Yep. Um, with the um, he this guy's just stress. We see the stress tokens out there. Here's Miranda hitting. Yeah, spending the focus. One more damage. He's focus firing. You got a regen, I assume. Yep. For one. Spends and it. Spends it. Okay. Just one damage there. But no crits. 
None. Should have been great. Miranda is at four sh four shields. No, I just lost one. Oh, that's Nim over there. Yep, yep. So she's at three, and now we're waiting for the BSF who Who's can't shoot. He's blinded. I guess he can. M can you measure? No. Nope. When you're blinded? Nope. I think he just doesn't realize that he's blinded because. I'm sure Francois is going to say something. You would imagine, right? I don't rem. Was that not blinded? It is blinded, wasn't it? Maybe it was a different pilot. Let me go check. Well, if they're well, if he's shooting, it's it's not blinded. But I'll be right back. Okay, looks like he declared Miranda here, trying to get some focus fire in. Looks like range two, we're a hit. Natural evade. Oof. So that damage count was four hull. He didn't take Crimson Specialist shields out of there. You got a mouse right there, dude. Oh, so we can't bump? Yeah. No. That could be worse. So not blinded. Stunned pilot. Yeah, the glare. Okay. Well, we saw a pilot, and <laughs> assumed the worst, apparently. Well, we saw we saw the uh, also the lowercase d at the end. Oh, yeah. yeah, we saw the yeah the ed pilot. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Those uh, that target lock on the harpoon did not help, but yeah, we're um. Just want to double check, make sure we have all that right. Four, five. Mm -hmm. No, so he's at four hole with the Christmas specialist. Nine. He has five damage there, right? Two crits, two face down, and double damage. Brings us to four. All right. Everything's up to date. Yeah, four cards, one worth two. Mm -hmm. yep. All right. That's so uh, Francois has both of his dials down. I mean, right now, Francois. Well, he knows. He's, he's executing his plan. Yep. We're probably going to see what from... I mean, you fly a lot of Miranda. What would you do here? Honestly, this far ahead, one bank out. Oh, wait, no, because there's a trajectory coming, right? Mm-hmm. Mm, whatever gets me away from that trajectory. Because you can't take a trajectory thermal and another harpoon from them. Right. But honestly... With this board state, I guess Nim doesn't like that hawk though either. Uh, Francois is Nim. Mm -hmm. Not great. It can do probably two around where it can dodge at least one, so you're not, the mm -hmm. damage trade is not great there. Um, I would assume a three bank. Huh? To Good. be honest with you. So here comes the trajectory. So, see, it's going to land basically underneath the Miranda, a little bit ahead of him. So, a three straight would clear range, mm -hmm. but maybe a three bank as well. He's going to have to do either one. If he didn't, that's not good. So, here comes the BSF. So, keeping stress. Com coming in as a blocker. Block. Got a block he's here. Got, he's blocking. Uh, four health. So, he could take a bomblet. With Sabine, even. And well, if I mean, why not? I mean, kill him here. You trajectory a bomb. Oh, trajectory. Trajectory a bomb. You bomblet. Do you waste and Sabine. one of your four? He's already one down, right? One proton one down. One proton down. That may you do. Because you're not going to hit the hawk. You do a thermal here, maybe. I wouldn't waste it. He's at four health, one agility, two bombs left. I guess that's kind of important, though. I mean, because you, you mean just getting getting bombs off the table, like because Andrew still has three left in his chamber. Because what what could end up happening if you don't kill the BSF so this he turn? He leaves one behind. So he does. Oh, he's definitely gonna leave one behind. Uh, so he did do the three bank should click a range. Mm -hmm. You're better eyeballing on stream than I am. Yeah, that's that's out of range one for sure. Okay. On the table, I'm I can <laughs> I'll eyeball I'll eyeball all, all day. Miranda. Yeah, Miranda healed a shield, I believe. Yep. Yep. So just down one. So that the whole trade was eight. 
on Crimson Specialist for one right. on Miranda. So Andrew looks like uh, his plan is just to simply execute. Um, he didn't trajectory. Oh, because he can only freeze one of those two. Mm-hmm. He doesn't want to deal more damage to his own. It's going to be target okay. lock. Here comes the second harpoon. I see what he's got going on here. So maybe, just maybe he was uh, able to spook off Miranda. Mm-hmm. What do you? What's your range on Miranda's TLT to Crimson? To Crimson Specialist? Um, that should be in. It's very close. The angle, it's mm, that's really close. We'll have to we'll have to wait and see. That's a little over one. Mm. That's one. Uh it. It looks like two point seven five. Yeah, I think we're in. We'll find maybe a base space or so. Yeah, we'll we'll find out here in a little bit. We're waiting. What are we waiting on? We got the target lock there. Um, Prince, I was just thinking here. About well, he's de debating whether or not to launch, because he knows. I he think he's up with a token. Oh, because he can hit Nim now mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna go another proton. I, I saw him grab the thermal card. Okay. Nope, oh, he's he's going proton. Yeah, that crit on a permanent crit on his the opponent's Nim, mm. Andrew's Nim. So it could B be devastating. BSF is going down, and even if Nim's in a bad spot here, he's gonna take some good damage from the bombs as well. Um, this is of course assuming that he does uh, he does get blocked straight. And um, actually, from that five template, maybe a one forward would not bomb. He might he, it, I mean, he, he might have planned to drop the bomb with Miranda and then oh he's a too hard banked. it's a too hard he might he should be fine. So I might actually freeze that bomb then. Um, he's taking the barrel hard roll won't won't do it. Barrel roll is going to keep him in range. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I think you barrel roll to get TLT range. You didn't even have to do that. He's gonna he probably should have just focused. No, you just you know what you're barrel rolling just the, for next turn's move. He's oh gonna yeah, get shot. And there's a rock there. He's gonna get shot no matter what. He's gonna get the bomb lit no matter what. He's got shields yep. too for the harpoon at least. Yep. And one thing we got to remember tournament math wise, Miranda is worth more points than Nim. So even if we end up with the dead hawk. Forty two to forty eight. Yep. Mm hmm. Looks like it's just out. Yep. And out to the BSF. A lot of bomb tokens there. Here's the pro. <laughs> a lot of bomb yeah. tokens on the board. Here comes the proton. I guess we're back in uh, to the old bomb bomb meta. Um, structural then weapons, weapons failure. Weapons failure. One die attacks. And that was on the BC. And damage cockpit on Nim. on Nim. That's so now huge. he's below Miranda. He's below Miranda. And he's has to move first. That is huge. That's the kind of crit you're looking for by launching the proton. Yep. Something permanent. Sabine. Who's that going to be I assume the crimson. Depends on... On the BSO. Yep. That brings him down to... Thank you, Francois. Did, had he played on stream this tournament? Six. I don't think he has. Six. He's doing an excellent job, though. Seven. He's got two left. He's debating whether or not to to let it let it blow. It's gonna hit. It's gonna hit him. Mm -hmm. And having a heart. So if it does two, then the harpoon brings a crit through. Yeah. Or even just nah, does. He's, he's gonna lock it because he doesn't want to take more damage. Though, I mean, Crimson Specialist still has a gun, so we'll see. It's range one, so Nim can't kill him. And Miranda might be able to though. We'll find out. So we're going uh, TLTs on from Nim to Nim. Thin T measure to purple Nim. And that's two hits. So that's going to hit automatically on Nim yep. to shield. <laughs> Pretty good roll. And got the other one. That's a good start. Because Francois still has three harpoons yep this is harpoons into there you go. Nim. there's a good roll keeps the lock I don't want to check in range you shot at him <laughs> <laughs> confirming just confirming 
and uh, it gets a blank, so that's going to be four shields and the harpoon condition. Now the question here is, let's see if you Miranda... You took his hull away. YouTube is what? You took his hull away. Oh, I sure did. Lies. All right, so Miranda's in range. Ooh, does she spend it? He's got he's got one dice. No, you power up on the second one. <laughs> That's my Miranda strategy. I mean, she's not getting shot. Yeah, right. You you spend it and and power up the second no. shot. No. Oh, okay, it. didn't matter. Got him. All right, so one hole left on that Crimson Specialist. We'll see oh, if the that's TLT right. Does he needed it. two. Yep. All right, okay. so the Crimson I was Specialist was alive. I was thinking he only needed one, and I was saying yeah, I, would, mm -hmm. I would power up and then spend the focus on the right. four dice attack. But, yeah. Yeah, Miranda's spending a shield is a kind of a dice modifier. Oh, that the, was it. the BSF whiffs. He rolled three dice anyway, so he deserves it. It's It's range three. It's range one. Weapons failure. Oh, you're right. So, he deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> Weapons failure, yep. I'm not being mean. I'm just... No, I'm that's, that's, <laughs> that's the truth. I know. We missed it. We missed it. You're right. Weapons failure. I missed it. All right. So, we're going back to dials. The Hawk was out of range. We probably... Oh, man. He's... <sighs> Unfortunately, as much as you need to protect the... Uh, late game TLT and Sabine. He needed to get that hawk in there. Francois is out of the pro out of proton bomb, Correct. right? Correct. Let's go ahead and. Can you make a note of that? Yep. Just you click on it and it strikes it. Only cheat on Gold Squad. <laughs> yep. Well, <laughs> it happens every time. Don't worry about it. Yep. Yep. We're gonna one of the the plans we have coming here in the future you actually we were, we were talking about will is to get multiple table streams going at once like to be able to switch between yeah that's going to happen and uh, i'm working on on the what I'm the, what, what the setup I'm imagining is imagining it like past times you have like cameras hanging from the ceiling okay so right we can still all move around the tables right and you can't touch the cameras cuz it's too high up in the air ah uh, okay see what i'm saying yep i see it right it could work it could work <laughs> Because that's better than a, a, a tripod at every table, well, right? Well, the problem, the problem, like I, I am honestly not a huge fan of the straight top-down look. I know, me neither. Um, I really, I really like having like a, a high look, but being able to have some angles. Oh so no, I'm imagining like tables run through five, all oh, have geez. cameras coming down, <laughs> and we're going red zone style. Uh. Andrew, yes, Andrew's yes. Andrew's out, and uh, Francois Nim's down one. Is that right? Just, yeah, yeah. Just note, um, if you could remind yeah. Andrew that he has a weapons failure, okay. as you are the or judge, so it, it's not my yes. job. Or, or if it's not a weapons failure, let us know what his crits are, please. Yes. Thank you. Judge store owner, or judge, just store ju manager? Owner. Oh yeah, because he was talking about LFR. Yeah. Um, store managers. Great guy. What's his name? Oh, he's a great guy. He's a great guy. <laughs> yeah, um, I finished. I finished in the top eight. This actually, Andrew is the guy I lost to in the final. I threw it away. <laughs> <laughs> you were there. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna talk about it. I'm done. <laughs> uh, actually, I believe uh, all of the gold squadron did get to top eight. Who made cut? Yeah. Yeah, Brandon, we, we all got me, dice. you, yep. Francois. Mm-hmm. Because there was only Allie and Nate. There was only Allie and Marcel that didn't make cut, correct? So there was five of us in the top right. 16? Yes. And there was five of us in the top eight? Yep. That's how it's done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it was just Andrew and then the IDs as the <laughs> other players of the top eight. Nice. Okay, now this is – th he has stun pilot, doesn't he? Isn't that the one where you bump and take damage? Is that stun pilot? Why are they measuring? Wait, hold on. Let's confirm. Is stun chat? It is, but honestly, his one bank I believe flew him off the board. Did he land it? Oh, and then was Pasco zero. 
I'm, I'm going to pull that dude and stop yeah. Andrew. For, not, okay. I'm not going to stop okay. Andrew. I'm going to stop the judge and have yeah. have a look at all of that. Yeah. All right. So here comes uh, here comes Miranda doing two turn. It's being safe. Check, double check all the crits. Because he, he was shooting with lift. Uh, I would use any of his weapons failure. He's got a pilot skill zero review. And I believe he has stun pilot, which stun which would pilot kill the BSF. Just, just pause, pause the game. Those are all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So we were talking talking to judge. Yeah, I don't know but how they can backtrack that. But the stun is stun. Pi is stun is stun. He has stun pilot, correct? Right. Is that the one you bump and take damage? And what is pi Miriam's pilot skill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 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 And and and, and his pilot skills pilot skills are Andrew. Andrew had Yep. Yep. Andrew. Too many cards, too many crits. Yeah. All right. D and then uh the harpoon. Yeah, uh, the harpoon his, condition. His pilot skills zero. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. That's, that's yeah. The harpoon oh. condition does go off, so um, Francois the Nim does lose a shield. And yeah, that's Andrew. That that is clearly it. it it's just mistakes. Not, it's not his intention yeah. at all to avoid every single one. Of yeah. his <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Uh, mistakes happen. Yes, he needs crit tokens. He I had mean, some. He had them out. He did have them out. So I don't know what. I mean, sometimes you're you're in the heat of the game, right? Uh, I know definitely once it's getting hot. Yeah. <laughs> once it's getting hot. <laughs> so that's not good. Chad, give give Andrew some love. Yes, yeah. and Andrew Andrew has played great. He's playing great. I, that's just a. a I mean, we like you said, this is his ten tenth game. Tenth game. Tenth game. Fourth uh, today. Yep. Your pressure's on. Got that stream jitters, maybe. Yep. That's TLT range. Looks like it's checking for a target lock. Uh, Francois didn't know his it either. Yeah, well, tenth game. Yep. And Francois's last game almost went to time. So yep. his his he's his mind is blown. Yes, absolutely. Looks like that target lock was out, so he is deciding to barrel roll here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah, the stunned pilot triggered on Bob. Yes. <laughs> he didn't have where he was at. I don't even know if the... Oh, because he was stressed, so he couldn't hard one. Right. And the one bank might have actually put him off the board. You're right. I mean... So it's a hard call. <laughs> <laughs> Your choices were... <laughs> to, to, die, die, to die? To die. die or die? Or <laughs> <laughs> what was for sure die or maybe die? Those are your options. Uh, I only I think you go with the maybe die, or uh. cheat on stream. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. <laughs> All right, so it looks like the love, love, no, no. Uh, Vomlet was in range and takes a shield off Nim. That was Miranda's Vomlet, is that correct? Mm-hmm. From the last turn. Oh, the one he froze from before. Yep. Yep. Yeah, uh, Francois smartly marking them off with, I believe, destiny. Yes, but that's a destiny shield. He's destiny. like, I don't know, shield, hold, it, it works. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. those are, I like it because it, it makes, it does make it very obvious what's being held. Yes. Um, yeah, so Francois is able to avoid the barrel roll, excuse me, avoid the harpoon by barrel rolling out of arc. No, Andrew's out. Yep, that's what I'm saying. He was able to avoid the harpoon by, by barrel rolling out of range. No, I mean, Andrew's out of harpoon. So oh. He shot one at Miranda, oh, one at Nim. Oh, okay, you're right, you're right. So he's just out of, out of shooting. Out of what you call it, it's out of range. Avoid getting shots. Yeah, he's got just an auto blaster and primary now, and 
Well, the bomblets. At least he's got a Sabine here. Hopefully, Andrew can can take this uh, planning phase to calm his mind. Find out exactly what he needs to do here. Find the win condition. Mm -hmm. So let's th let's talk about that. Do you think it's in Andrew's best interest to disengage here? Just just take a break. Just like two turn and try to reset and try to catch Nim somewhere in this upper left hand third where you're uh, not behind him i tell you this much that i think francois has an easy hard two back through those asteroid fields with mm -hmm. miranda okay and he's gonna he's got both harpoons on his miranda he so does he's he's needs to get them off um trade some tlts he doesn't really need to heal but though i wouldn't be surprised to see like a three bank three bank slam for miranda and just right. be like kill my nim right because it I mean he'd still be up on points if he killed him. So, um, and this was this was Francois's bomb that's held right there. So that's gonna limit Nim's options a bit to maybe just a Talon roll. But that sounds terrible. Actually, I think a one bank would fit there. Now this is a situation that's interesting. I was talking to Francois in his last game. He at uh, Francois. Sometimes does he, he can get hyper aggressive. He's ahead in this game. He doesn't need to be, oh, right? So ahead in this he, game. He's super ahead. Like for instance, Francois, I bet would be tempted to do a talent roll here. He'd be tempted. Like if I if I we've played a lot. Oh, he, Francois talent rolls yeah. for sure. He, no, honestly, he, he's doing it. He <laughs> but I mean, it, the safe choice is not to do that, right? Just you just too hard. hard. You too too well, hard. Yeah, too yeah, hard focus. I know it's cooler, but it's not right. It's more fun, but it's not right. Talon roll. Yeah, honestly, I think the Talon roll's the right call anyways because he's not going to go towards that bomblet. Okay, I can see that. And he's got one more one more harpoon on his nim. Trajectory. So just, just touching bombs here. A little bomb love there. <laughs> And they're both going to freeze the same one. That'd be really funny to me. Yep. <laughs> Just, Just put frozen, the frozen bombs hanging out on it. So he still has this oddly placed one, but he kind of, I think Angie knew that uh, Bob, the Crimson Specialist, wasn't going to make it through that joust. So just launch him, put a bomb token down every round. So I like this. Looks like a clear of the bomblet of Francois. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I'm just looking at that. It might barrel backwards just to get a barrel on that rock and maybe clear some range from Miranda. Yeah, you got a barrel roll just to avoid the rock. He's not. He doesn't have enough hole, uh, enough health here, um, to be able to spare it. You barrel roll to the Andrew's right. Got tough game ahead of him. I think he. To be fair. Mm-hmm. I think that uh, Andrew's win condition mm -hmm. is absolutely kill Miranda. Because his Nim is still going to struggle against Francois' Nim. Right. But they will not win with Miranda on the board. Right. I think the, the plan here is to try to focus fire her down. I think you're going to have to. I think that's the only way you can, can win from this position he's in. Mm-hmm. If you can focus fire her down, you can leverage the TLTs. Range one primary. Range one primary, and just get her down. And then if you can have a two on one with, uh, you have a Nim off plus a Hawk, Andrew gonna is, will win that battle. Honestly, though, this, this is why I said earlier that uh, Rebel Operative versus Captain Nim, no bombs, no harpoons, just mm -hmm. TLTs, TLTs. Maybe a range one primary if Captain Nim's being a little aggressive. Mm-hmm. But honestly, that I that might actually depending on the health. Well, wait, his name's got five. Yeah, I think that uh, Andrew's favored in that five on but, Rebel Optic oh, yeah. versus five on yeah. the Nim TLT and each other. So I think he has to go for Miranda here, yep. and I'm surprised Francois is coming in actually. But I think he's gonna take his advantage here to try to go for the lock. <laughs> Running guidance chips. Did, have you talked to him about guidance chips versus long range scanners? That, that I think he he he's okay with taking ha like half modded 
um, shots. Oh, no, no, it's, right? it's I mean, that's still just hit four on average because you get two out of four and then one out of the re-rolled two and then guidance just Right. I think he just doesn't want to lose the, you know, like I got out of arc with a shot and then tar- target lock while I'm right next to you. That's what you, do, that's what you don't, don't have if you have long-range scanners. That's fair. I mean, I personally like long-range scanners because it gives me something to do when I'm not in combat. Real quick here, um, if you're a newer player, one thing, and uh, some people would say, well, obviously that target lock was out of out of range. One thing that it does because the he bomb, measured the bomb. He, t- he measured the bomb, yeah, because the bomb is at the same angle at which the ships are. He actually could see what exactly what the range was on the bomb. So the thermal blows gets off the table. We have a cool stuff link from what Francois is using. The uh, the binder the binder. Card oh, yeah, things. the binders are so great, dude. All oh, right. wait, his is a little different. Oh, he's got two extra cards. Cause mm, yep. <laughs> noom. Noom. Friggin' noom. Here is the harpoon missile. She's spending a shield. It's going five. It's aggressive here. I think you got to. All right, so that'll guide in chips. Oh, he's, he's got the lock first, you lock right? First. It's a good start. There All it right, is. There it is. So what, what is that total? Two hits, three crits? Two hits, three crits. And that's all. That's he a dead hawk. Oh, it's on the, it's, it was in the Nim. I assume it was. It was in the Nim. He, he grabbed the shield off Nim. Thrust control fire takes a stress. You can't see the other one. You put it right in the middle. It's the worst spot. Major hole breach. Ah, TOT is doing crits. It's a ship upgrade. Or a ship damage upgrade. Yep. Action, flip it face down. So I assume that's console fire. I think he called it. I think he's conceding here, which I can't blame him. All right, okay, so. Because that's. He's got one hole left. He'll have one hole. Yeah, because there's a proton bomb, a one hole Nim, and a full health Hawk versus five on Captain Nim and. Eight on Miranda, yeah. Yeah, and okay. I'm sorry. Well, good, GG, good game. No, uh, yeah. Well, a little small condolences to Andrew. But yeah. Moving on to the most important thing, Francois taking it. Yes. Getting the national Got sky. It. Getting the world's reserve seat. Yes, I think that's the biggest part, right? <laughs> you know I got saying? my, I got in, I got into worlds. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, I don't know what Andrew should have done differently. It was it was tough, man. I don't I don't know what he could have done. Uh, different. They're gonna put on the table the prizes here. Yeah, look at that flak. <laughs> That's fancy, dude. That is fancy. Flak. That's beautiful. That's really cool. Regional champion. It's a cheesehead medal. Yep. <laughs> well, I want to say thank you for, to everybody who joined us. We'll get a, an interview with Francois here in a minute. Um, but uh, a huge thank you to all of our patrons. If you want to support the Gold Squadron podcast and all the things we do, all the traveling, streaming, or we're bringing you, we have brought you a bunch of system opens and regionals this season. Uh, you can go to patreoncom Squadron. Thank you to all of our Twitch Prime subscribers, giving us free money. If you have Amazon Prime and uh, you want to give away free money, it costs you about two minutes. Uh, we have a video on our on our YouTube page, but you just connect your Amazon account to Twitch, you click a button, and it uh, donates $2 and change to us, and you can do that once a month. And anybody who uh, who's done it before, just a reminder to re-up. So um, please go ahead and do that. You guys are awesome. Those of you who have been consistent, I actually, we actually can see how many months you've done it, and it's pretty cool. And uh, I need to figure out a way to, to start uh, giving people some, some, some swag for that or something. i got to figure something out. Like longest total or longest – or uh, not longest. Uh, can you see continuous or total yeah. months? Um, it's, it's continuous. It shows me continuous. So if you skip a month, it will just be like, hey, you, you're, a, you're a Twitch Prime subscriber. But if you do – if you prime it every month, it will say for the third month in a row, for the fourth month in a row. It's pretty cool. You need to give out yearly awards for that then. Oh, there like, we go. Like definitely like – because how long have uh, you been I mean, doing it? But the, the Twitch Prime is new. So this is just the second – or third month. Some people oh. might be squeaking oh, into sorry, the third. Oh, sorry. I thought you were talking about uh, Patreon. Oh, Patreon. Oh, that's ha- that's happening. That's happening. I'm working on it now. How many how many years of Patreon been going on? This it's it. We just eclipsed a year a little bit ago. Okay. Okay. So I'm I'm I need to come up with something really cool. 
like something really cool and exclusive. I just haven't figured out what it was yet. What it is? You spoiled my surprise. It's no. coming. I mean, I mean, I guess you don't know what it is yet. We don't know what it is. I have, it I have some plans. Something. It could be nothing. It could be something. Could be nothing. No, it's there's something for sure. But uh, we have some. Andrew, Andrew's got some deodorant in there. That you have to. You know what? Every tournament kit should have a deodorant because <laughs> there's some people that forget. I know. L- let's go ahead and and do the bu- booth view here. So a huge thank you to everybody who joined us. Um, we'll be back in a couple minutes. We'll get our uh, our um, our interviews. I'm glad that the internet held out for this match actually quite well. Uh, throughout it yeah hotspot doing better mm-hmm. than yeah, then, Wi-Fi. then three different wi-fi connections a mobile hotspot is kicking their butt so we'll be back give us a minute what were, what were your strategies going into it okay well I, i'll maybe go first because andrew asked me a question when i was setting up the asteroids that maybe wasn't on stream because uh we mm-hmm. set them up early uh, why i had it measured at uh like the, five, the five range ruler and uh, my goal with Miranda and Nim with, with this was to try to um, get Miranda to three bank, three straight, mm-hmm. and then do a, a two hard or something and drop a bomblet and see okay. if that was something that I could do and create, like, okay. at least a tenderizing in that bowl. Okay. And that's why when I set them up, I kind of let an entrance there to kind of attract well, the rock, the the, the list, mm-hmm. and then leave a bomblet, and then reposition. Well, the rock did like <laughs> stop me. I even without that bomblet, I bomblet being there because I was dropped to pilot skill zero. My only thought was is like I have to kill Miranda as quick as I can. Yeah. I can't really go for Nim because if I go for Nim and suffer the damage through him, uh, Miranda's gonna is an end game ship. So yeah. with the regen, the shields that you can do every turn. Um, so I had the hard two. I had to get into position. I just wasn't expecting you to do a hard two into the center of the board. I was expecting to keep going yeah, around. Yeah. Um, well, when when you moved, you know, fast enough, I guess where I just uh, didn't really like my chances of getting out of your uh, your big, you know, crimson specialists mm-hmm. range and getting free shots. If I slammed after my initial three bank and three straight, yeah, I'd yep. still be in your turret. I thought, well, I'll just, you know, abandon that and kind of mm-hmm. leave a bomblet as I do it too hard uh, and yeah. kind of, you know, go yeah. from there. So not the game plan, but that's the idea is just mm-hmm. to kind of create that bowl and you have a ceiling, mm-hmm. you know, of that bowl where um, maybe there's going to be a bomb in there for uh, right. for the enemy to kind of come in or prevent them. Well, that was um, a good lesson for me. This is my first time uh, fighting against Nim Miranda, so... I had no real game plan. Um, my oh, my only real game plan was is to, um, because uh, Moreno's an end game ship was to either scare you off with the threat of harpoons or focus to, uh, with uh, harpoons or bombs, um, and then take out Nim. Or if you're in a position where I benefited from it, kill um, uh, Miranda as quick as I can first, and then take out. Because once, like I said earlier, I, if I have the turrets, I can take out Nim. Yeah piecemeal because you can't take out that much hull yeah um, well and you know you have trajectory when uh when you had your whole list coming up and i was mm-hmm. slow rolling nim to see what you do maybe i'd bank behind that asteroid mm-hmm. maybe not but you kept coming forward i'm like well, i'll throw a bomb out there and right. proton see what kind of crit uh and crits were very nice yes <laughs> if if we remembered them yeah, yeah we did do a round of uh, yeah no we both were it ended very up tired, not really so mattering, sorry about that i guess it didn't end up mattering i guess but yeah no no because um, yeah, just even the shooting order my when, when nim was in range and Nim was never in range so yeah uh i think the turning point of this game was when you harpooned miranda and did very little Absolutely and nothing. my shields were still there to be used and i was mm. going after you so i could regen a shield mm. um and then harpoon you back and just bring mm-hmm. that crimson specialist down to uh yeah yeah after that there was it was there was a moment of well i've never had less than three this whole tournament um what do i do because i can't necessarily scare you as much <laughs> because you have all these shields left over so i guess i have to go kill nim assuming he's going to think assuming he's going to run away as quick as he can with miranda so and that didn't work out either so yeah yeah all the plans start falling apart yeah yeah but it was uh 
man, a great tournament, well run. It was very well run. And that well was uh, a good kind of end, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I'm <laughs> not be better for me, but <laughs> well, true. But I'm not. I'm not upset about it. I was ex wasn't expecting to be where I was, and I can't make it to the worlds anyway. So I'm glad that you know you were able to use it. So I appreciate. It. Yeah, that was that was awesome. Yes, that was awesome. It was a good game. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, I am here with the head gnome of gnome games. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Pat, the head gnome from Gnome Games. It's <laughs> that's it. <laughs> So uh, first, I want to say thank you for running an absolutely wonderful regional. This was great. Everything was well run. We kept pace. You helped me out with the stream. I mean, it we we it was a team effort. We got it done. Well, thanks you guys for doing it. And you know what you guys do for this community is obviously important to them. So it's thanks for coming up. Thank you, thank you. So um, I mean, I, I'm hoping that le for the people out there, um, I wholeheartedly believe Gnome Games should get the regional next year too. Like, well, you guys did a great job. We'd be happy to do that. You know, it's um, our trademark to run good events, and we were glad yeah. to do it for you guys. So Fantastic. Um, for anybody who's maybe local to the area that doesn't know, when do you guys run X-Wing here? We run X-Wing a couple times a week um, at the various stores here at the Green Bay store. It's always Friday night. We run Friday night flights. It's a lot of casual stuff to mm -hmm. uh, learn to play. And Saturday afternoons down in Appleton at the Appleton store, um, that starts at 1 o'clock. So Okay. Um, and then the bigger events we splash in as time fits. Fantastic, fantastic. And um, how many stores are in the Gnome Games Empire? In the Empire? Right now we've got three stores, two of them here in Green Bay and one in Appleton. So that's awesome. Uh, you know, and this one, on the one on Main Street here, it, we call it the Battle Bunker because <laughs> we've got room for everything. You know, we had 40K going upstairs all weekend yes. long, and you didn't even know it was here. So Right, yeah, that, yeah. so it's really cool. Uh, obviously, you can't see it, but so there's a huge main floor area, and then there's these stairs that take you to this. It's literally above our heads. This whole other play area, it's it's amazing. Yep, it's it's fun here. So. Yep, there were, there were nights jousting at one not jousting but like sword fighting at one point yeah it's yes. like, was like what, what this is amazing <laughs> we do that every sunday um we've got the local sca chapter that comes in and does all their training in here during the winter time and then in the summer they get to go outside and play so. that's that's awesome well one more time a huge thank you is there any any shout outs you want to give before well, before we let it go you know first of all all the all the x-wing players that they came up you know we haven't done this for X-Wing before, and I'm very impressed by the community and the way that they work together. And, um, you know, it's a very pleasant experience to run a tournament for you guys. And then, awesome. uh, obviously, Fantasy Flight for letting us do this. You Absolutely. Know, gets, put us on a showcase. And you, thank you for coming up. No problem, no problem. So, signing off for Pat the Head Gnome. My name's Dio Morales, Gold Squadron, out.